Hi guys, this is Dan from The Investment ABC and in this video I want to talk about the Sydney property market measured in ounces of gold. I really believe that gold and silver finished their bear market in November 2015 at a price of roughly 1055 US dollars. Since then the price traded sideways in a range between 1150 to 1350 US dollar. The last three years gold was underperforming other assets because the money which the central banks created went mainly into risk assets like stocks, cryptos and the property market. In Sydney more and more people were jumping on the property train and it looked like the sky was the limit for properties. When I was in Sydney for vacation in early 2017 I couldn't believe it when my uncle took me to a housing auction. I saw more than 60 people watching and cheering and my first thought was smells like a bubble. I realized that all of my relatives, even the younger ones in their early 20s, bought multiple houses. They were telling me proud how they were 1.5 million in debt but their equity would be far more and they would sell one two houses in a couple of years and retire. I told them that it looks like a bubble to me when all of you guys bought houses. There won't be any buyers left if everyone bought houses with a pile of debt. Who do you want to sell it to later? They said I would be too negative and that property would never go down for a longer period of time. One thing I realized is when it comes to greed, you can try as much as you want, but you won't achieve anything with your warnings. This chart here shows the median house prices um, of Sydney. So what you can see is that prices rose from 2014 to the end of 2017 very steep and almost had a parabolic rise in to roughly under 1.1 million Australian dollars. My subscribers know by now that I haven't seen one parabolic move which did not crash badly back to the mean. If this would be also the case for Sydney house prices, prices would have to come down to approximately 680,000 Australian dollars. So we see. Here is another chart. We have the chart of the Sydney house prices to gold ratio. What you can see here is that from the late 70s to the late 80s, you could have bought the median house price in Sydney with only 100 to 200 ounces of gold. We can see how this changes in the 90s and the ratio reaches its high in 2004 with 1100 ounces. That is 10 times more than in the late 70s. We can see how the ratio began to decline since then and reached a level of 550 ounces of gold for the median house in Sydney. We can also see that in 2014, 15 and 17 the ratio got rejected by the 660 level and since then is dropping. The 660 um, looks like a major top for the ratio for, for a very long time and to me it looks like the ratio will first test 500 ounces and afterwards the 400 level one. The 400 level looks very significant and the ratio keeps on testing that number over time. In my eyes we will test that 400 level and break to the downside and ultimately bottom back in the 100 and 200 dollar rate and in the 100 and 200 level. Um, we have to see when that when that's going to happen but I'm pretty sure over the next 5 to 10 years we at some point we will reach the 100 and 200 um, 200 level. We are car we are actually in the end stages of the debt bubble where central banks reach their limits and it is getting more and more obvious to the investors that central banks either inflate or die. And they will first inflate before they die, trust me. It will be different than the last time the central banks started their last round of QE because back at that time it looked like QE worked and investors knew that we bought some time to go into risk assets. This time investors know that it, it's the last desperate effort of central banks holding this bubble together. That is why this time around a lot of this pr printed money will go into safe haven assets which did not rise last time like gold and silver or even bitcoin. Of course if they print enough some of this money will also go back into stocks and properties driving prices even higher and making the inevitable fall even worse. Since I started this channel in late October, I was saying that the stock market is shifting from bull market to bear market and gold is shifting into the beginning of a long term bull market. 
there is a very high probability that um, <clears throat> gold and Australian dollar will rise even higher than in US dollar terms because we weren't able to deleverage private debt like the US did back in the GFC. If the RBA is trying to prevent the inevitable deleveraging of private debt and with that the decline of the property market, the Australian dollar would take a big hit and we would see gold prices breaking very soon over $2,000 an ounce. So as an Australian investor, I would definitely consider to protect some of my wealth with gold and silver. I am no gold bug, no perma bear. I try to take advantage of these markets as good and early as possible. In my eyes, gold and silver and also Bitcoin found their bottom and will rise from here on. Prepare yourself for hard times, guys. Winter is coming. This is by no means financial advice. This is just my opinion. Do always your own due diligence. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and share this video. Hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.